Welcome everyone, this is Master's Joke, also Master's Joke 75 on Instagram. So this is another toy review. This time it is the uh, Droid Factory C1940. I only, I mean, I, I love the, uh, I love the Disney uh, droids. I mean, I've probably said this before, but before I got banned from the United States of America, I used to go to Disney um, like every year. And um, one of the things that me and my son used to do is we, we, we'd always go to the, um, I mean, this was, this was before Galaxy's Edge, so I've not been to Galaxy's Edge, but we'd, we'd always go to like um, downtown Disney or what's it, Disney Springs as it's called now, or um, M MGM or uh, Hollywood Studios as it's called now. And we'd like, um, we, we'd build, you know, we, we'd, we'd build a droid. You know, and it, I think it was like, um, I think it was, it'd be about like $10.99, not including tax. And it was just a bit of fun. So, you know, I, I mean, my son was very, very young. So some of the monstrosities that he built, I mean, we, we've still got them all, but, but it, was, it was just a bit of fun. And, I, and I, 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 I'd love droids. I mean, I've got loads of them. So it was all part of, part of the excitement. And I mean, Disney are so good. That I remember, I mean, the first one we built was in Star Tours. So that was the first time my son went on Star Tours. And um, the second time we built a droid would have, would have been, uh, or one of the most memorable times was, it was in um, Disney Springs. And it, I, I know that Disney Springs, they've, they've, they've now got Star Wars shops. But this was, this was early on. Uh, probably at what 2016 or something, and um, it was in one of the big toys. You know the you know that toy, you know the the, the uh, Disney store with with Stitch, who shoots water out of his mouth. I mean, it's all been done up since since this. But down the left hand side, they used to have like all the Star Wars stuff, and I remember seeing the uh, the Jawa sand crawler and all these like Disney Star Wars merchandise, which which cost a fortune now. But you could build a lightsaber, which which is another thing that my son did, which which it was actually a, 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 a blind Disney cast member helped him with that. That's another story, and it fantastic. But um, I remember I, I wanted to build a droid, and I've still got it. And it was um, I think it was a, a purple and white one. But th this this is before they changed the design, and you had to have a left and a right leg because of the cable in at the front of the legs. Whereas now, I think all the legs are exactly the same. But I couldn't find um, like another right leg. So I couldn't build the droid that I wanted. And I remember asking the uh, cast member, I said like, have you got any spare bits in the back? And, and she didn't. And you know what she did? So I, made, so I made the droid. It wasn't the one I wanted, but it was still great. She said, right, you're not paying for that. And she gave me my, <laughs> she gave me my droid for free. I've, and I've, not, I've, I've never heard of that. And this, yeah, this was Disney Springs in the um, in the Stitch Disney store. So, yeah, I mean, Disney, I've, you know, they they are fantastic. They are really fantastic, and and they didn't have to do that. And I was I was, I was really chuffed by that. There's, <laughs> it is definitely a magical place. But anyway, um, <laughs> this um, um, you know I, I do talk rubbish, I know, but this is the uh, the C one nine four zero. As I said, I do like these droids. Um, the last, the last. I mean, it's great now that the Disney Store Online are actually selling these online because before you could only get them in the parks. And I and I did want to get the um, the Halloween ones. There was that Halloween four four pack, which was like forty two. Was it forty one ninety nine? And then there was the um, the general um, carded release for Halloween, which which was twelve ninety nine, same price as this. But I, you know. I didn't, I didn't have the funds at the time, so I missed out on that. The only reason I bought this one was because, I mean, it looks great, but was was to kind of top up my uh, my Droid Factory advent calendar to get the free postage. And also there was like, was it 25% off as well? So it didn't, this, this Droid didn't cost me 12 99 but I, I mean, I, I, I didn't have a clue. <laughs> I didn't have, I didn't, I didn't recognise who the droid was. I didn't have a clue who it was. But it was someone on Instagram who pointed it, pointed out to me that the, uh, the C1940 represents 
1940, and this is actually Mickey Mouse. This is based on Mickey Mouse. So I, you know, now now he's now he's told me, oh, I'll have to remember what his name was. But um, now, now he's told me, I can see it's Mickey Mouse by the colours. So it's based on Mickey Mouse in the 1940s. But yeah, it looks great. Really good figure. Um, and I'm really looking forward to uh, opening this one up. So I'm going to do that in a moment. But it's the standard, it's the standard Disney card back. I mean, it's obviously it's, um, it's not a real photo. It's superimposed. It's not a great photo. Bit, a bit of information about the uh, the droid on the back. It's got a little crease in there on the back because of the way it was uh, packaged. I mean the um, the advent calendar was fine, but this this just got kind of got caught. I mean I've bought loads of stuff from the Disney store. I've had issues in the past. I mean, what was it when I um, when a new movie was coming out, Rise of Skywalker? I ordered um, the Vintage Collection Poe Dameron and Zori Bliss and they both came delivered battered. So I told I told Disney and I told I told them that I wanted, you know, I, I wanted to send them back and get them replaced. And um, they said don't worry about it and they just sent me another two in the post. So again, that's another example of how good Disney are. In relation to like customer services and you know keeping the magic going, but enough about Disney. Yeah, this one this one did come a little bit creased. You can't see it on the front. You can see there's a little bend there, but you know if I was going to keep it on card, I might you know I might have been concerned. But yeah, I mean I I bought this to open up. So um, so yeah, you know it's, it's just a standard Disney card. So uh, let's let's get this uh, let's get this bad boy open. Right, so there he is. He's very much like Chopper from Star Wars Rebels. So he's got a bit of tape on his little uh, his little hands there. So I'm just going to cut that. Right, so here he is. I've got to say, I, I, I've got the... Um, I've got the um, Star Wars Rebels Hasbro chopper from the Star Wars Rebels cartoon. And I've got to say, this is a this this figure is is bigger scale than Chopper or, or the um, Hasbro version. But I'm I'm really impressed. I mean, I, I'm, I've I've always been impressed by the by the well, I've already mentioned by the by the Disney action figures. But yeah, I mean, it's it's got good articulation. It's got its little wheel under there. I'm wondering if it comes up. Yeah, so it comes apart like the normal uh, builder droids. So that comes off. I wonder if the yeah. So the head comes off as well. So it's just like all my others. Um, so you've got the little mechanics in there. And then his little hands. Or his Mickey Mouse ears, or whatever you want to call them, they they move as well. That yeah, that that is. I, I'm really impressed by this. I mean, because it does more than my um my other my other droid figures. It's got some good detailing on there. Yeah, and it's a nice throwback to uh to to Mickey Mouse. No, I think this is great. Yeah, I, I look forward to um, taking some photos of my action figures with with this uh, Mickey Mouse droid. Yeah, let me uh, let me set them up. I've got to say, I'm really impressed by this uh, this little droid. I mean, the, the the attention to detail, the articulation, the paint application, and the fact that it's uh, you know it's it's just. It's just a uh, like a, a throwback to the to Mickey Mouse. It's it's, it's just for a bit of fun. I, f I think it's great, and not not forgetting. I mean, I, I mean, I didn't pay twelve ninety nine, but twelve ninety nine for for a for a Star Wars action figure. You know, you can't go wrong. I mean, that is a great price. 
I mean, I've got to be honest. I mean, Hasbro, they, you know, obviously they're working under license from Disney, but they, they do need to take note. I mean, this droid, I've, for what it is, and costings as well, I've got to give it 10 out of 10. Similar, similar to my uh, Admiral Kirk figure, I think, in, was it in one of my last last videos? I've got to give it 10 out of 10, and I weren't even going to buy it. I only bought it to top up the top up the the cost of my uh, my Disney purchase, so I'd get the free postage. I mean, what was it? I I pre-ordered um, Antoc Merrick's droid. What was it? R2 SHW. So I pre-ordered that because I wanted I wanted um, to get the droid to go with um, uh, Merrick's X-wing. You know, because you've got that slot there, you can put any droid in there. But um, yeah, I, I wanted it so. You could only buy it on Hasbro Pulse. I, I've pre-ordered it months ago. So that arrived quite recently. I haven't opened it yet. But from the reviews I've seen and, and from the from the chatter on Instagram, because of the old um, uh, droid sculpt that um, Hasbro Pulse have used, I, I mean, it, it, it's terrible. I mean, the, the, little, the little slots on, um, you know, the little slots here, on on that astromech droid once once open they won't close and there's issues with the middle middle leg and things like that and then you see this that's been made by disney i can't fault it at all so so hasbro hasbro pulse they need to take note because if they start building or, or providing us with i mean there's been some good figures uh, in recent um in recent waves but if they start provide you know producing some of the rubbish that they have been producing over the years and when i say rubbish i'm also talking about the card backs i mean the the retro collection um card backs an absolute joke and then you've had the same issues with the vintage collection which seems to have improved now but you know if they don't get their act together that they, they will lose the license and, and disney will just produce their own figures i mean and why not if they can produce stuff like this which is just quality so highly recommended i think um i think these droids are now sold out uh, someone was telling me that they're going for well this was in america that they're going for quite a, a high price like 40 to 50 dollars on ebay in america this was in the last couple of weeks uh, i've not checked ebay for this particular figure um but yeah, they're, they're sold out now online. I mean, you might, I don't know if they've got them in store. So I did check the Disney store uh, website. They've got another 25% deal going on at the moment. But they've also got, um, they've got a new droid for Christmas. So I know Hasbro, Hasbro do their own like Christmas. Well, I've only seen it in the Black Series, but they do like some Christmas Star Wars figures. If you love them or you hate them, I don't really... I, I mean, I like that, that C-3PO type droid. It looks good. But I don't really buy Black Series figures. I've got a handful. Um, but it's not really my cup of tea. But I do like the I do like the, these Disney ones. So they've got a new one. And it's called R6 SNO. And it's basically a snowman with a, with a top hat and a scarf. I, I think it looks funny. Um, and again, that's $12.99. Let your eyes be your guide. <laughs> but um, yeah, this... this um, this droid, C1940, highly recommended, $12.99. It's a bit of fun. Um, if you are able to pick one up, go for it. But I, I do think that they are sold out at the moment. But you might be able to pick one up somewhere. Uh, but yeah, that's the, that's the, uh, that's the end of the, the video. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. It lets me know you care. Join me in the next one, because I am a bit behind on... Um, <laughs> on opening my uh, my purchases so hopefully I'll, I'll get another one another video out um, within the next couple of days so yeah I'll see you in the next one the vlog is over <laughs>